<laughs> this doesn't look dangerous at all. Time for another challenge. On roof horn, it's the chopper challenge. Since it's a knife maker challenge, it has to have a blade, so motorcycles are ruled out. And obviously, they were talking about this. Still a no? Well, we're going to do it anyway. Wait a second. Basically like this, <laughs> meaning the edge goes in this direction and the opposite edge goes in that direction. If you want to strike with this end, once you swing, well, you've got the business end pointing at you. So this is a little bit awkward, but as any sane person, I kind of play some for honor. And there's one guy that has a solution for our problem. The Mijai. Not, not that one, the other one. Yeah, yeah, that's the right one. Because he can actually split his weapon in two. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, so let's start by forging the blades. Okay, first tang, let's go. Oh, I forgot my glasses. <laughs> because you know I'm all about safety first uh, with all my projects. Okay. Now the next step would be to cut off right here because I have to now forge the tip. But uh, if I cut off right there, I don't have anything to hold that end. So I'll start doing the tang on this end like I did here right now. completely soaked and I'm um, really tired. I think I'll go take a shower right now. And here we've got two forged blades. It did change quite a bit. Let's clean up this profile. This piece right here was a cutoff from the lawnmower blade, so I hardened this with just oil. If this is suitable as a knife, this should break. Oh, I heard a crack. <laughs> okay, I don't think I will be seeing that piece anytime soon. Oh, actually there it is. Yeah, this isn't hard at all. I guess it's sl slightly hardened. Hmm. So I actually think that we'll try to water harden this. Okay, I'm about to quench and the cool thing is because this time I'm quenching in water, we can actually put the GoPro in there to maybe get some cool shot. We still have the issue with uh, just this tiny little bit of wood here um, holding all the force when the blade gets pushed back. But I've got an idea for that. And maybe it's a very ingenious way and maybe it's completely stupid, but we'll have to find it out. Okay, so far it's been pretty straightforward, but now we have to figure out how to connect the two pieces with these rods.
Okie doke, here we have it. The button. Cody Co would love this handle. And here we've got the piece that slides in. I'll show you on the inside in just a second, but put it in. And then to lock it down, you have to press down the button and then it goes in and it's locked. Then you press the button down again, pull it out. Okay, and on the inside, hopefully the spring won't fly straight into my face. I'll take the spring out just so that it doesn't fly away. Okay, so we've got this beautiful Frankenstein contraption as usual. It sits in here like this. Since this one is open, it can slide over the rod and then this one has a smaller opening so it has to slide through this tiny gap right here which is why I have to press it down like this all the way until it's flush with the handle that's why I made it this length then I can slide it in there because of the spring pressure it pushes it forward and you can see because we've now got the bigger pin in this hole it's locked down and because of this pin I put right here, the, the spring can't push our button, button, <laughs> can't push the button out of the handle. Otherwise you can imagine I would just push it all the way out. Yeah, let's finally glue this handle up. As usual, it's pretty late and I have to get done today and tomorrow morning. I glued on the outer pipes, let's call them, with some epoxy. And now the next thing I have to do is shorten this inner pipe because as of right now, come on, do it. As you can see, it's a bit too long. Cut off four and a half centimeters or roughly two freedom units. Since both of these blades are meant to look like opposites, the one I just glued up is meant to have the blade blackened and this one I'm currently finished grinding will have the shiny counterpart. To achieve that silvery look on the forged finish, I'm using this worn out conditioning belt, which actually worked quite nicely. So if you remember at the beginning, I talked about how the cross section of the wood is a bit uh, smaller because of the hole for the tang right here. I said that the metal is around the wood and I think I got an idea how I can uh, replicate that. There isn't a lot of material right here. And now my solution for this would be take the wire and wrap it all the way around. And that way got the whole material holding everything together. And hopefully that way this small little part right here won't break. I've got stainless steel wire for this one, as well as brass wire for the other one. And I think just wrapping it like this looks a little bit um, boring. So we'll be twisting this. I haven't actually ever tried this before, but I mean, how difficult can it be? This is not good. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but maybe I should just embrace what is happening and just hope it doesn't kill me. I feel like if I loosen this, I'm going to regret it. Oh, great, this looks pretty cool. And after a little bit of coat gluing solution, here we've got the finished chopper blades. Okay, <laughs> but before we get to the fun part, I just wanted to re remind you that this is part of a challenge and thanks to every one of you who voted for me in the last challenge, the fantasy challenge for my whipsaw. I actually managed to score the win on that, which means 
this time I'm in the judges category, so you can't vote for me, unfortunately. But you can vote for the 20 other absolutely fantastic makers we've got in this challenge. So check out the link down in the description. And of course, special thanks to our sponsors that are providing prizes for the winners of our viewer challenge. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any future challenges. Yeah. Let me show you its features. Let's put it <laughs> into helicopter mode. Push the button, slide it in, and it's locked. Yeah, there we have it, helicopter mode. Slide back out again. But of course, to go into true helicopter mode, we have to do something else. <laughs> but this doesn't look dangerous at all. <laughs> How do I turn this off? <laughs> Clearly, chopper mode works pretty good. But now let's see how chopper mode works. Okay, so clearly... Vegetables aren't a problem. Let's see how it goes with some <laughs> other stuff. Oh, oh, maybe I should actually hit the middle. Okay, okay. Maybe I guess it's time to move on to a proper challenge. Ah, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe that's too big of a challenge. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. Well, boys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Well, and to those of you who are angry because I made all those stupid jokes about chopper and still didn't turn it into a motorcycle, I just have to say, sorry, can't win them all.